Hi. <laughs> so I know I've been missing in action. A friend of mine took me to the bins. I'd never been to the bins before. And if you go further back in my Instagram, you'll see a little video I made of everything I picked up at the bins. It was very exciting for me. I had a really good time, <laughs> but I could see how it would be addicting. And I cannot get addicted at this time because I have too much to do. So I am, I've got a little bit of a mix of some things from the bins haul and some things that I'm pulling out. I went to, into my, I actually have my inventory. Most of the inventory that's listed is in tubs on shelves in the hallway. And I have some unlisted stuff in tubs there too. So I have all this stuff here that's on the bed that you all have seen, but a lot of it is winter stuff because when I first started um, listing, I had all that stuff out, which is why it's all out and not away. And then, but I missed the season. So I went and pulled the bin for summer stuff and I'm starting to try to focus on that and I'm gonna put some of that stuff away. So there's gonna be some rotating happening um, as happens. So first of all, I have uh, Flax, which is one of my favorite brands to sell um, in this lime green color. And this actually wasn't mine. I know. I would have picked it up no matter what weird color it was, but it happens to be the weird green that I like. <laughs> anyway, so it's just a simple jacket in linen. Pretty for summer, right? Linen. I love linen in the summer, as a lot of people do, because linen sales pick up in the summer. This is Zara. It's just a white jacket, good for back to work. It's going to get all washed out with just a little open shawl front blazer. Nice also for summer, loose and breezy and snowy, snowy white, like an egret. This is free people. This was mine. Um, but I just decided with the little sweet little puffed sleeves that I was just too old to wear sweet little puffed sleeves anymore. I know. Where's my kid? They're gonna come around the Mom, Mom, there's no such thing as too old for anything. You wear what you like. I love my kid. Um, but it just didn't feel like me. And I'm doesn't fit me anymore anyway. But it was this cute free people. I think it's free people. Yeah, free people. <laughs> a little sweet dress with a little tie, a little empire waist thing going on. Very appropriate with everyone and their love for Bridgerton and that uh, cotton sweet summer cool, yeah. This is like a little, this little polyester 70s house coat. Look at this groovy pattern, man. Can you just get with the groovy? I know, right? Makes you go blind. Woo! But it's just this long, lightweight, unlined, summertime little house coat dress with these really nice little buttons. Hard to picture they're the green buttons and it doesn't have any labels on it and it might be homemade. I think it is homemade actually. The seams on it look homemade, but I just, the fa fabric's just awesome. All right. This is just two, there's actually two of them, two men's shirts. So I'm hoping that somewhere there's twin Western rodeo brothers who each need a red snap pearl button front Western shirt with this really cool fabric panel on the front and back. And I think someone did sew this. So I'm wondering if it was like for a swing choir or something. I could totally see our swing choir in high school doing something like that and making all the boys look alike. But anyway, so it's a, it's Shepler's, which is a good Western brand. I understand. And uh, just cute. Two of them. Love it. Fun. I say that a lot. Love it. Fun. I also say I don't know a lot and often I do know. Okay. Uh, so I, yeah, I should actually stop. Okay. Because I get self-deprecating and I don't want to downplay myself too much. I've been doing this for a really long time. So I started with eBay back when you couldn't even put photographs and you had to just describe things really well and you had to wait for money orders to come in the mail. And so I took a long time off when my kid was born and I didn't really get into reselling as a full-time thing until COVID hit and my husband's hours got cut in half and I wanted us to be able, I wanted him to worry about the mortgage and I would worry about grocery bills and all that other stuff. So I stepped up the reselling to pay the bills, which has worked, which has been great. So I've been learning all the other platforms and I found out there was this whole like resellers community. I had no idea. It was a, a bit of a rabbit hole and really kind of fun, but also intimidating. And I'm like, oh, but I also found out that like I knew some stuff that I knew stuff um, 
that so that was good but then there was a whole this whole new generation of things with Poshmark now so that I didn't know so it was it's been really fun that this journey of both feeling knowledgeable and and like I have something to contribute and feeling like an innocent babe in the woods so it's been fun and of course new fashion teen cool fashion I don't anyway but I'm learning I'm learning when it doesn't make my brain hurt okay this is just <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so punchy I had my um second uh Pfizer shot last night so I'm actually really hitting the wall and I'm feeling it today I'm tired so I'm I I may not make my goal today but you know what that's okay I'll do my best that's all I can do so here's this Everlane I've never sold Everlane before so I'm looking forward to selling Everlane and yes it was eight forty nine but I this is from Savers and I get forty percent off at Savers because I'm old so I only go on Tuesdays and I get 40% off everything. So anyway, it just says 100% human. And it's a little crop heavy sweatshirt. Nice. I liked it. I almost kept it. But my kid was like, why do you have a shirt saying you're human? And I thought this was appropriate for COVID. It's a just J. Crew, And I think it's out, it's outlet because it's got the dots on it, right? That's what that means. That the dots mean that it's from the outlet. But it just says cabin fever. It's just a white sweatshirt that says cabin fever, and I thought that was very COVID appropriate. So I got that. Oh, and hey, I got money in a in a coat. I got 11 cents. I'm rich. You see all these people with, like, fans of their $20 bills that they find? I got 11 cents. So if you only got 11 cents, too, hey, come wear, like, simpatico. Okay. This cracked me up because <laughs> they're swim shorts. They're just dudes swim shorts from Alpan. Alpan. <laughs> they're later hosen. Hi on a hill is a lonely goated lay you lay you lay you. Lost team clear from the goated's throated lay you lay you low. Happy are they, lady o lady lady o. Anyway, just too bizarre. Yodely. <laughs> later hosen. Dude, swim shirts. Some guy needs these, and I have them for him. So let him know they're here. <laughs> and then I have some vintage jeans, because why not sell them now while they're popular? Made in the USA. That's always a good sign. I don't know. But they're black. They're the uh, mom jeans, super, super high waist, right? And they have the blousey thighs, and then they taper at the ankles, which I know are really big right now. It's so hard to show these, just black jeans. But then the back is really fun. It has no pockets, but it has a bow. I just thought that was really cool. And they're hardly worn. They look like dead stock. I mean, they're just bright and shiny. And then this is my last one. These were from the bins. I had to at least list one thing for the bins. And I know it probably won't do great, but I just thought it was fun. And I'll tell you my DI I have later. So they're Paige. And they're these cool tie-dye. So they're... They're the skinny legs, which are not in, but they're tie-dye, which is in. Tie-dye is always in. I don't know why they go like, oh, tie-dye is back in fashion. Tie-dye never left fashion. What? What's wrong with you people? So anyway, <laughs> so I've toyed with the idea of cutting them up the sides up to the, like the knee and inserting on both sides and inserting some fabric and making them bell bottoms and trying to sell them as like page custom jeans. I don't know, would you buy something like that? I don't know. And this time I really don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm done. Um, I appreciate it if you stuck with me this far. And uh, if you did, please leave me a note because I've just, uh, I don't, I feel like I'm, I don't know. Is anybody there? Is anybody there? I don't know. That I don't know. But I'd love feedback. And um, if are you doing this too? Are you listing? Are you going to list your 10 things today? Okay. I'm going to list mine too. Let's do this.